May 1915, the war to end all wars. It was raging all over the globe. The Ottoman Empire, having sided with Germany, immediately found itself under attack from the British and the Russians. For the Ottomans, this was more than just a global war sparked by the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand. This was something much bigger. A Swedish missionary working in eastern Turkey at the time witnessed a Turkish officer saying something very significant. Since we're at war with the Christians, we need to wipe them out in this country first. On May 27th, the Ottoman Parliament passed the Displacement Law, and on June 1st, the deportations began. Christians all over Anatolia were forced to leave their homes at gunpoint, herded like cattle in long death marches, or by train crammed in tiny boxcars to concentration camps deep in the Syrian desert. One Ottoman official named Mehmet Salal Bey, a governor, witnessed the first arrivals of the deportees. What he observed was horrifying. Endless, frail, emaciated bodies crammed together. He halted the trains and appealed to his superiors. He practically begged, but it all fell on deaf ears. His reward for slowing down the deportations? He was removed as governor, but he would not be silenced. Quote, unfortunately, it is impossible to deny and distort the facts. The purpose was to annihilate, and they were annihilated. It's impossible to hide and conceal this policy. His new position as governor of the Konya province placed him in a very unique location. Konya was a major hub for the deportees who were being transported by train. He seized the opportunity. He refused to load the trains with the deportees. And the military persisted. He stalled, claiming that he didn't have the boxcars ready. He sheltered and housed as many as he possibly could. He hid them in villages and in farms. He even arranged for some to be sent back to their homes and then gave them money which he took from the province's immigrant fund. Mehmet Salal Bey was the lone shining light in the darkness of ensuing genocide, personally responsible for saving tens of thousands of lives. When everyone else was turning a blind eye to what was going on, he stood in defiance of tyranny. But his actions couldn't stop the atrocities. And here's how he described the feeling. Quote, like a person sitting beside a river with absolutely no means of rescuing anyone from it, blood flowing down the river with thousands of innocent children, irreproachable old men and helpless women streaming down the river towards oblivion. Anyone I could save with my bare hands I saved. The rest went down the river, never to return the Ottoman government eventually found out what he was doing and relieved him of his position in October. He served for just four short months, but in that time, thousands of people owe their lives to him. He died 11 years later in 1926. Thousands of Armenians attended his funeral in Istanbul to pay their respects. He is known today by the Armenians as the Turkish Oscar Schindler.